Many high school and college football teams have already started their seasons and are looking forward to a successful year. Now, that's also true for some younger players in Corey. Much younger players. They are in grades kindergarten <laughs> through fourth, and they are called the Munchkins. Our John Last brings us their action for this edition of The Last Word. What a great feeling to run the football in for a touchdown or to make that stellar defensive play. Well, here in Corey, boys and girls are experiencing that feeling at a young age. Welcome to the Munchkin Football League. The league began in 2007 and has been going strong ever since. This year, there's 127 players and 24 coaches. These players are in grades two, through four. They're, they're here to learn, uh, learn the basic fundamentals of football and the game, as well as how to get along with each other on and off the field. These second through fourth grade players are the veterans. The league also has teams with kindergartners and first graders that play each other. You may ask, how do you teach football plays to kindergartners? Well, the coaches have an invaluable tool. It's a whiteboard. Before every play, the coaches show each player where to line up and where to run. So for that age, it's very simple. And through repetition, uh, the beginning of the season now is a little rough, but by the end of the year, it's kind of a well-oiled machine. When you were little, it was tricky, but as you adapted to it, it got easier. Respect and fair play are two of the main things taught in the Munchkin League. The final score is not important. Neither are individual stats. My favorite part about it is uh, playing on defense. You like the defense better than the offense? Mm -hmm. Wow. I want to go to the NFL and be a linebacker. So. so you like the defense too? Yeah. Some former munchkins cannot stay away. Hunter Savitz serves as an official. He can't help remembering back when he first learned the game. I started in kindergarten and went all the way up through and that was terrible, absolutely terrible. Hunter is now a member of the Corey High School varsity team and still carries with him the things he learned on these very fields. I'm obviously playing in high school now and maybe college and I would for sure like to go and be a coach later in life, so. With the last word in Corey, John Last, Erie News Now. The Munchkin League has been so successful in preparing future Corey players, young cheerleaders also being trained at the games. Can't beat it. Great story.